Hey there friends, I've got a cool little two color keychain here and of course you've seen the build video where I've got the A10M which I mentioned was one of the easiest builds I've ever had and now I'd like to show you how to create a dual extrusion part. So the first thing you need to do is build your base. So I've got the keychain base here that's a heart and then I simply export it as an STL. I'm going to put that in my 3D modeling folder and I'm going to put the word base after it. I've done this before so I'm going to put a 2 on this one. The next thing I need to do is click on the words which you'll notice are above so it has that location in it. That doesn't stick but I did it that way anyhow. And then I'm going to put KCW which is my shortcut for keychain words. I'll put a 2 after this as well because I've used it before. So now that I've got those two parts created, let me show you how you put these together and the settings we adjust in Kira to make this work on the A10M. So in Kira, make sure you got your A10M selected. Under Preferences, let's double check and make sure that we have Slice automatically on. Make sure that you don't have models kept apart and make sure you don't have the automatically drop to the build plate because remember, I want to put my letters up above. Once I've got that done, I can close it. You'll notice I've got my extruders set for each color. I did that by simply doing the custom materials and then I set up two custom materials and then I just picked the colors that were in my extruders. So the machine really doesn't know what I have, but I set it up so that it looks like it does. When I click open, I'm in my 3D modeling folder. I will sort by date and let's find that base first. And then I'll orbit around it by doing a right click drag so we can get a look at it. I want to print my base with the left extruder. So I'm going to click it once and switch to the pink. So I'm going to put words on top of it. And now let's grab the words. When you hit open file, scroll down, there is my keychain words. Notice it initially places them in a different location. I'm going to right click on it and do center selected model and then I am going to change its Z to positive 2 because that's how big I made my keychain. When I press enter it brings it up to the exact height. When you right click drag you need to be patient. There is a little bit of a lag as these things appear. I'm going to slide that up where I want it. There's my right click drag that takes forever to actually show up and that's why it went too far. I am happy with those two pieces so now I'm going to do control A to select them both. And with them both selected I'm going to right click and I'm going to merge the models. Let's run through our settings. I've got mine set for 3 millimeters or 0.3 millimeters. That's just what I choose. I've got my shells at the normal non overridden qualities. I've got my infill at 10%. I'm working at 200 degrees on both extruders. It is important to make sure you have those all set the same and set the same for both extruders uh, because each of them are separate. Remember, there's that pause in between clicking them. Make sure you have also tracked down the standby temperature because you want that to stay the same as well. If you ever can't find a setting, just remember to click the gear and then type the word you're looking for. Remember ours was standby and there's my standby te temperature. And if yours is not showing up, you probably do not have the check mark yet. Under speed, I left it at the defaults. Travel, I left it at the defaults. It is nice to have the avoid uh, when it has printed parts so that you don't accidentally knock over what you did. I've got my cooling on. I like to set adhesion at skirt four lines 10 millimeters away so that I can see how the print is starting out. I do want dual extrusion and I do want a prime tower. When you click this, I don't want a circular one. I do want it to be 20 millimeters on a side and then I'm going to put a hundred for how many millimeters cubed I want in my tower as it switches colors. I think these X and Y numbers are silly. Uh, I'm going to try 50 and notice now it shows up back here and then I'm going to do uh, 100 for the Y. That's pretty cool but I'm even going to come closer. I'm going to go 75 so that it's closer to my project. And then the rest of this I am just going to leave alone. So those are the steps to get a 
dual extrusion part ready for printing. I'm going to save mine to my removable drive, but I'm not going to eject it because I need to make an adjustment to it first. Before we can use this G-code, there's a line we need to comment out or it'll crash. I like to edit mine with Notepad++. Uh, you can pick any notepad that'll let you save in a normal uh, G-code file. And then we need to get rid of the T1 commands that are on the M104 and M109. I simply get rid of them by putting a semicolon in front of it and then doing save. I'm going to close my editor and there is my CFFP heart base 2 project. So let's go run it on the printer and see what we get. Nothing tricky here, simply scroll down, print from SD, and then find the one that you had, mine was called heart. And then just wait for it to heat up and watch for the action to occur. Hey there friends, there you have a sweet mixed extruder keychain created with the A10M. Crazy easy machine to put together and not too difficult to work with. Uh, friends, if you found this movie useful, please hammer that like button. If you haven't subscribed to it yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. Got a question, comment, or something you want me to teach you? Let me know down below. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL My Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.